Hello, this is David D. Hilster. I'm a critical thinker, science dissident, and I'm here to tell you the truth about science. Something your university professor won't tell you, the media won't tell you, and of course the science evangelist certainly won't tell you. Today I'm going to talk about, again, genius. That is that series on Einstein's life that people are following. In fact, the 20 million people that have signed up for the Facebook page of Albert Einstein, it looks like it has been completely hijacked by that series. Don't know if the lady was bought out, maybe. The lady who uh, sort of squatted on that uh, name maybe was completely bought out by this company or whoever's doing this or they're paying here for the, getting at those people. Because 20 million people is quite a lot. I'm on there for a different reason. I'm on that group because I'm out there to throw a few monkey wrenches in since we worship Einstein. But this is sort of an open letter to Mr. Ron Howard, who did some really great films, obviously. One of my favorite was the Apollo 13 uh, film, where they really got into the days of the Apollo program and Apollo 13, which was quite an amazing accomplishment by amazing engineers. I grew up in that era. I uh, was 10 years old when they landed on the moon, and I loved all that science stuff, really engineering more than anything. Couldn't get enough of it. And so, Mr. Ron Howard, I know why you're making your film. You are totally worried about Trump, and you're worried that all these people who don't believe in climate change, they don't believe in real science, and you are trying to now put these science figures up there as heroes. But I'm going to tell you, you did it wrong. You got the wrong guy. Einstein, I think the idea maybe for you was, well, Einstein is a really big one. People are, it's misunderstood. People don't understand really what he's, his theories. And so we're going to really dig deep. We're going to get the best actors. We're going to put tens of millions of dollars into this production and we're going to make it just like a Hollywood film with all the drama. Basically you can take almost anybody's life and do that with. That, that's true. But this is Einstein. There's only one real big problem Mr. Howard, Mr. Uh, Ron Howard, and that is he's wrong. Now it's real easy for you to dismiss this and immediately turn this off. For those who are still here you got to start using critical thinking. So here's here's your where your your ideas go wrong, Mr. Howard, and your logic, especially with the young people. Let's look at the millennials. The millennials today, because of Bernie Sanders and and many other progressives, their eyes are wide open. They don't watch mainstream television because they lie. Mainstream has an agenda. They push the corporate politicians. That's what they do because they're owned by, owned by corporations. So these people don't watch TV. So maybe they're sort of watching if, I don't know if they can get it online, the Genius Series. But the idea is for you is to get that young generation to get heroes. Well, the problem is, is you picked a hero whose relativity is absolutely wrong. And in fact, people have been fighting this since the early 20th century have been fighting while Einstein was alive. And it turns out today and age, if you talk to those wonderful engineers who worked and who were in uh, your film that showed such a great uh, picture of these amazing engineers, they all laugh at relativity. They all laugh at parallel universes. They all laugh at wormholes. They laugh at the particle accelerators with spin and strangeness and topness and downness, all whatever, all those things that those particle physics, physics people talk about. They, the engineers are sort of like, they read the stuff, oh no, I, uh, gravity waves, wake me up when this stuff is real. Engineers work with real things, real physical things. Today and age, we don't know what light is, we don't know what gravity is, we don't know what electromagnetism is, we don't know what magnetic fields are, we don't know what charge is, but there are people who do because they're working on new models outside of the mainstream. And so your idea that, oh, let's pick the biggest guy, make it a dr drama that's interesting, hook him in, 
And then they can, oh, now I'm going to go back and study Einstein. Well, when these same millennials go online, they're going to find thousands of scientists, we have a database of them, criticizing Einstein, criticizing relativity. It doesn't make sense. They are critical thinkers now. The problem, you didn't look into that side. They don't, they don't only see genius. They can see YouTube experiments like Yonel Danu showing that water flow looks, works just like magnetic fields. They can see uh, Dr. Edward Dowdy in my film talking about, oh, gravity doesn't bend light. Mass bends light. The coronas of sun have mass, and therefore we know that light curves in it. Outside of that, it doesn't curve. General relativity doesn't work. How about the Stanford Literary Accelerator um, uh, experimentalist who was in my documentary, Einstein Wrong? He talks about, oh, we're supposed to see mass increase, but we don't. Special relativity says there's mass increases to get close to the speed of light. They don't see it. GPS scientist in my film has over 30 patents now. He is looking at C plus V, the speed of light plus the speed of the satellite. To, to correct a calculation NASA can't figure out. And it works. That's, that violates special. You didn't look at it like, so you pick this guy out of the blue, thinking, oh, great story, great drama. Let's elevate this guy. Now all these kids will want to go on science. You elevated the wrong person. It would be like you elevating uh, Hillary Clinton. They see her saying one thing and then 20 years before saying another. You can't hide it. They are critical thinkers, wide, eyes wide open. The same goes for science. That's why I'm here. So there you go, Ron. Big production, lots of money, right idea, wrong person. Why didn't you pick somebody like uh, Mr. Edward Dowdy? Or why didn't you pick uh, another person like Dr. James Maxwell in Expansion Tectonics. Why didn't you pick uh, someone like Dr. Eberly Spencer, who looked at the atomic clock experiments on the plane and found that there was no evidence for time dilation, that is time slowing down on atomic clocks on those planes. Why didn't you go, why aren't we looking at those people instead of looking at a person whose theory is so paradoxical that no engineer believes it? Okay. That, that's enough. That's now. It's enough for now. And please remember, don't take what anyone says on faith. Don't watch genius and believe everything that's in there. Go look for yourself. Try to use common sense because it actually works in science. You, this idea that it doesn't and that the universe works in ways contrary to what we think, not true. Stay critical. Stay thinking. I'm Dave DeHilster your science therapist. Ciao for now.